God this morning. Praise God this morning. Our God is so faithful and I just want to encourage us this morning in the name of Jesus. As I was reading my Bible, I came to the book of Mark chapter 11 and I found something very interesting here that I'd like to share with us. And it's about Jesus and the donkey. There is a a story here about when Jesus was going to march into Jerusalem and he needed a donkey. And Jesus gave an interesting instruction to his disciples. In Mark chapter 11, he said, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a donkey tied there, which no man has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord needs it, and we send it right back shortly. They went and found a donkey outside in the street, tied at the doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked them, What are you doing untying that donkey? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. I just want to encourage us this morning. You know, sometimes you are believing God for something or you need something urgently. I want you to know, using this example, that that thing that you need is already there for you. It's already waiting for you to untie it. Just imagine, at the time that Jesus needed that donkey, God showed him where that donkey was, and Jesus gave instructions and said, Go and bring the donkey. Go to so 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 place and so 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 place, and you will find the donkey there. And they went, and it happened exactly the way Jesus said. Even as they were untying that donkey, people say, Why are you untying the donkey? And the Bible says here in Mark 11 6 that they answered and told them what Jesus had told them, and they let them go. I don't know what situation you have found yourself today. It could be provision or whatever it is. I want you to know that that thing is already waiting for you. But you need to untie it. You need to speak it and believe it. Say what God told you. When they went, people were thinking, oh, maybe these people want to steal the donkey. You know, anything could have happened to them while they were trying to untie that donkey. They would have said, these people came to steal this donkey. Or these people are trying to take what does not belong to them. But all they did was to speak what God said. And everything was okay. Right now, you may be in a situation where there are things you need. Where there are things that you need. But God has already given you his word concerning that situation. Or you know the promise of God concerning that situation. Why don't you believe that situation, that promise, and just keep thanking God in that situation? That because you have his word, you are sure that it is already done, and you receive it. That is what I mean when I say untie that donkey. Untie your donkey. Your donkey is tied, but you can untie it this morning. Begin to pray with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I untie my donkey. I untie my donkey. My, my answer is around me, and I untie it in the name of Jesus. I untie my donkey. I receive my solution. I receive my answer right now. For my donkey is tied right next to me, and I untie it, Father. Based on your word, based on what you said, the same way these disciples went, and exactly the word that Jesus gave them is exactly how it happened. I therefore believe your word that you have met all my need. I believe your word that you have healed that disease. I believe your word that you have provided that financial resources and is around me. Open my eyes to see it. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I receive it now. Thank you, Father. It is done. It is done in the name of Jesus. Thank God tonight. 
in the name of Jesus. You have untied your donkey. Ride it and enjoy it in the name of Jesus. Use the image of your miracle to overwrite the image of poverty and failure and lack that keep pro- proving itself in your life. Use the word of God to wipe it out in the name of Jesus. Please share this message so that other people can hear and partake as well in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. May God keep you. And may God make his face to shine upon you as you go today and always in Jesus' mighty name. Untie that donkey. Untie it now in the name of Jesus. Jesus.